today. If my doctor wants to know about the volumes that my heart is pumping, volumes of blood, or wants to know how well my cardiac drugs are working on a cardiac condition, I have to get cardiac catheterization. I have to fast for six hours, go and check into the hospital, have a catheter inserted into my arm, neck, or groin, have a tube snake down to my heart where my doctor can then, in an operating room, measure the, the blood volumes that my heart is pumping. There's a risk of stroke, bleeding, heart attack, and infection, and then I have to stay overnight in the hospital for observation. This Israeli breakthrough is going to be a complete game changer in that because what we're going to do on this stage right now while I stand here in my clothes in a matter of a minute is get that exact same data up on the screens in the Winspear Opera House. What this means is that us, our grandparents, our parents, our children will be able to have very sophisticated monitoring right from inside our own homes or from in a senior center. Instead of having to transport someone to the hospital for testing, they'll be able to be evaluated right in the senior home they live. It, it cuts hospital readmissions, as we'll find out. This, this breakthrough, which was the combination of an Israeli technology and a me, an American medical technology, could be a game changer. So NI Medical developed the NICAS, non-invasive cardiac system, that actually helps us by just sticking two stickers to your arms, know your heart health and your condition of uh, your blood vessels. Okay, so let's, uh, let's start doing this right here on the stage. I'm just going to roll up both my sleeves, and you're going to put... Uh, basically two stickers, one on each wrist, very similar to the kind I might get with an EKG. Just yeah, it's, it's a very similar sensor. They're a bit more sophisticated, but the process is the same process. You just stick them on. Now, people have said that I'm both spineless and heartless, so if you can disprove <laughs> any of that... I, I, we'll, we'll do our best. I'd really appreciate it. So what is it that uh, these stickers do on my wrist? So right now, we'll be um, pumping a small electrical current imperceptible to a human body, and we'll be collecting some information about your... Uh, heart and the amount of blood it pumps out. Okay, so uh, the green numbers are your heart rate, the red and purple are the amount of blood that's been pumped by your heart, and the yellow tells us about the resistance in your blood vessels. Now, on the right-hand side, we can see your cardiovascular status mapping and your cardiac function. This allows the doctors easily and uh, in a single look see what's your heart condition and what they need to do. So tell me why this is such a game changer. So uh, this system allows medical professionals, wherever they are, to see the same data that uh, up till now was only available inside ICU or our uh, high-level hospital condition. This allows them to titrate the medication and re reduce readmissions. This is basically getting medicine home, and this is a game changer. And Caesar, your, Athena ran a test on hospital readmissions. What did you find out? And hospital readmissions for seniors dropped to zero. And the reason for that is? Basically, the staff can monitor the data continuously and adjust drug dosages as needed, uh, producing better health care outcomes. Is this something that I could actually own myself? Yes. Uh, it just needs to be prescribed by a doctor so you can be trained and the data could be sent to them to be analyzed. And this is relatively affordable, something that I could afford to buy if a doctor yes. wrote a prescription. And also, you, there's a smartphone, basically, you, uh, you can yes. get it alerts. So the data gets transmitted to a smartphone, iPhone, and you can control, or control the blood pressure remotely from anywhere. Basically, you could be somewhere else, and you could have a parent or someone at home, and you could get on your smartphone alert if, they're, if one of the metrics goes off. Yeah, so if the data exceeds a certain thresholds, you get a warning. Okay.